melanin. Oh yeah. I got melanin. We got melanin. Melanin. You bet. You bet. You bet. Hey, beautiful people! Welcome back. Today, I'm excited. You wanna know why? because it is our first Melanin Monday. For those of you all who missed the first intro video, firstly, go watch that so you can hear my inspiration behind starting Melanin Mondays. But Melanin Monday is just gonna be a day where we highlight a black person that is doing amazing things in this world and we also pay homage to someone that we have lost through police brutality. So I hope you all enjoy. Today our first feature is Ariel Tellis. Ariel Tellis is an alumna of the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, where she studied political science, the Portuguese language, and Brazilian culture. At Illinois, Ariel was the president of the student organization Women of Color, where she orchestrated three campus-wide conferences focusing on uplifting, educating, and uniting women of color on campus and in the community. Using this platform, she pioneered the initiative Sister to Sister, which strives to bridge the gap between the campus and the surrounding communities by providing educational resources and mentoring to young girls. During undergraduate, she interned at the Reflections Foundation, the law offices of Dorkin and Marciarello. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that, which I probably did. Totally on me. Um, and State Representative Juliana Stratton's office. Ariel graduated summa cum laude and received accolades, including admission into Phi Beta Kappa Honor Society, the Department of Education's Foreign Language and Area Studies Fellowship, and earned her place on the bronze tablet, the University of Illinois' most prestigious academic award honoring the top 3% of graduating seniors. Outside of academia, she was awarded the Alumni of the Year Award by Polish Pebbles Girls Mentoring Program, which honors an alumna for her valuable and sustained contribution to community service. Following her undergraduate education, she continued to explore her passion for leadership by interning in the office of the Chief Executive Officer at the Barack H. Obama Foundation, working on projects such as the annual Barack Obama Foundation Summit. After her tenure at the Obama Foundation, Ariel began her J. William Fulbright grant in Southern Italy, where she taught high school students American culture and English. Most importantly, Ariel Tellis is the big sister of a superstar five-year-old, Chloe. In the fall of 2020, Ariel will attend Yale Law School. Let me repeat that. <clears throat> in the fall of 2020, Ariel will attend Yale Law School. Okay, we can continue, but I know y'all are clapping. Throw a like for that. She's attending Yale. Striving to use her legal education to practice at the intersection of business and law while uplifting her community. Also, some honorable mention accomplishments that Ariel has done is that she was on the homecoming court 2018 at U of I. She was Miss Alpha, Illinois, y'all. The whole state, not just at her school, the whole state representing Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. And also, she is a member of the illustrious Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And she was initiated through the Alpha Nu Chapter. This is Ariel Tellish, you all. Let's clap it up for her. Cue the sound effect. The person that she chose to pay homage to on her Melanin Monday is Sandra Bland. Ariel said, her full story to this day shakes me and does not sit right with my spirit. Also, she wants to highlight how Breonna Taylor was shot eight times in her sleep by police officers that had no business on her property and her murderers still have not been arrested. So, we're going to go ahead and dive a little bit deeper into Sandra Bland since that was her person of choice. So before I start, I just want to say that this information that I'm about to share is from the New York Times. I will leave the article down below. If any of the details are not correct, I'm so sorry. I'm going strictly off of this source and none of 
what's in my head. So the article will, the link will for the article will be below. Sandra Bland was a vocal civil rights advocate and two months before her death, she posted a video on Facebook talking about police brutality. And some of the quotes from that video include Black Lives Matter. She looked directly at the camera and said they matter. And this is a direct quote. In the news that we've seen as of late, you could stand there, surrender to cops, and still be killed. Sandra Bland was a graduate of Prairie View A&M, which is a historically black university located in the rural southeast part of Texas. And she was pulled over near campus on July 10th, 2015, after a state trooper said that she failed to signal a lane change. The trooper approached her car, took her information, and returned to his vehicle to write a citation. The trooper asked Ms. Bland to put out her cigarette, and she refused, and then things escalated from there. From that point, he did pull out a stun gun, and Ms. Bland did get out the car. And Ms. Bland was handcuffed and taken to jail. She was booked and placed in a housing area for women in the one-story Waller County Jail. Three days later on July 13th, a guard making rounds found her hanging in her 15 by 20 foot cell. Waller County officials said that she was found in a semi-standing position with a plastic trash can liner roped around her neck and affixed to a U-shaped metal hook. Ms. Bland was pronounced dead at 9.16 a.m. The authorities ruled her death a suicide and two of her jailers left the Waller County Sheriff's Office shortly afterward. Sandra Bland's death led to a Texas law that was enacted in 2017 called the Sandra Bland Act. It requires all police officers to undergo training and de-escalation techniques and it establishes protection for people in custody who have mental health or substance abuse issues. It requires that all jail deaths be investigated by independent law enforcement agencies. And on social media, there were two hashtags that exploded at that time, which was hashtag Sandra Bland and hashtag say her name. So we want to honor Sandra Bland and hope that she is resting very peacefully and in so much power to end this on a good note i have created an affirmation that i'm going to say at the end of every melanin monday and that you're going to say so first i'm going to say it in the form of you meaning i'm saying it to you so you'll listen and then i'll say it again and leave pauses for you to say it to yourself i'm affirming you and then you're going to affirm yourself that's how this is going to be done all right, here is my affirmation to you. You are powerful. You are a chosen one. Your existence matters. Your life is valued and beautiful. You are black excellence. Your power makes weak people intimidated and threatened. Your black life has always, still does, and will forever matter. Now, I want you to repeat. I will leave a space for you to do it. And I want you to actually do it, okay? I am powerful. I am a chosen one. My existence matters. My life is valued and beautiful. I am black excellence. My power makes weak people intimidated and threatened. My black life has always, does, and will always matter. That is what I have for you all. Thank you so much for tuning into the first Melanin Monday. Let me know um, what improvements you think I could make. Let me know if you would like to be in an episode and just give me your thoughts. And let's clap it up and say like, you go girl for Ariel down below. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to Melanin Mondays. Like, comment, and subscribe. Cause if you watch this for free, we're gonna fight. All right. I got melanin. Oh yeah. I got melanin. We got melanin. Melanin. 
You mad? You mad?